Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video and you know on stream last night I promised you that today would be a Biolante review. I will still probably record the Biolante review tonight. I maybe won't post it until tomorrow and just shift all of the videos that I had planned for this weekend back one day. Because I was not expecting news to drop today that we would have to talk about. We have to talk about this so... All-Star Battle is getting a revamp, so there are some things that they have done here that are actually suggestions that I have suggested uh, on stream, not to them directly, so it's interesting that things are going kind of coming up Millhouse, right? So, All-Star Battle is changing, it's being revamped. First off, your progress and wave rewards are now easier to check. A new animation will play on clearing all waves and the second halves of events. So, here is, like, the new event selection. It will tell you the recommended level. It will tell you what the waves are. So 58 to 60, 61 to 63, amazing. 64 to 66, love that. And rewards. So I'm assuming that these are the rewards for the next All-Star Battle happening in seven days. Because here is the Thousand Year Dragon shards. So cool. Cool. Here's the new animation. It says congratulations. This, I think, is the one that appears uh, when you complete a wave. But this also has Space Godzilla... As the winner, so if this is from this season's All-Star Battle, is Space Godzilla going to be the lead? Feels a little weird, doesn't it? So, I'll just cancel those images out and we'll go to the next page. Update number two. Get your claws on even more rewards. You'll now be able to earn more G-Stones and fragments along with four-star pieces. So, we can look right here. They have 100 G-Stones here, Mysterious Expedition, 100 G-Stones here, and then 200 and 100 event points. And then right here, they have a piece of Biolante at uh, wave 31 to 33. So it looks like these are all one-time rewards. You cannot farm these rewards. I would have liked if things were farmable. Maybe not the full pieces. But the points, the fragments being farmable would be amazing. But this is a step in the right direction. Update number three. Devise your strategy using the battle pieces specified for the event. Now this I'm not so sure about. The specifications will change for each event, allowing you to use up to 50 battle pieces to take on the new uh, to take on the waves. Unit you do not have will be available to rent, excluding battle pieces that are no longer available. So, if you do not own a character, you can rent them. If it is an event character that you have, they cannot be rented. So, that's like. G21, Kong, Mechagodzilla 21, and then like Ultraman, Aranga, Mephilus, Zetan, Eva 01, Eva 0, Eva 8, Eva 2, 4th Angel, 10th Angel, Kamen Rider, and um, Kumo Augment. They're not available. You can't choose them to rent. Gamera and Gauss are still available. You probably can rent them for the time being. However, if you don't own them, you can rent them. I think you, yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you can rent them. So you can now have up to 50 battle pieces to take on the waves. Do we make our own battle piece decks? Like I'm confused on how this works now. They haven't shown us like a screen for customizing the decks, but it, it makes sense that they would inevitably cap out how many we can use because the roster of monsters is growing and growing every day. We have what 70. 577 characters in the game so rotating through your entire roster to find just maybe the one that you're looking for is going to be tedious this is going to help you streamline your more powerful unit straight in all-star battle i mean first thing i'm doing is i'm taking out stealth bomber i'm taking out the rodan 64 i'm taking out you know the sande and stuff like that and i'm putting in like fun units good units also by is here right here and if this is an image from this coming up all-star battle then i guess maybe violante is the leader we're kind of getting mixed signals on who exactly the leader is there's a space godzilla right here violante right here unless we are allowed to change who the leader is from this point forward i don't know i don't know but i just wanted to make this quick video for you guys because i did not expect this information to become available today i really didn't think that this would if anything was going to be like this, I thought it might be closer to All-Star Battle, uh, not about a week away from it. So I'm pushing back some of my reviews, but I think that's going to give me plenty of time today to play with both characters and get a little bit more fleshed out. So the King Ghidorah review should then actually be on the day that most people are going to unlock him through the uh, Battle Pass. So that's what I got for you guys today. It's pretty early. 
but I uh, wanted to get this out regardless. I am a big fan of at least these rewards changes. I don't really care so much about this animation. I like that, I like that there's more rewards available in All-Star Battle outside of just doing the special missions. This is going to get us a lot more event points. This is going to just help players so much, especially new players. I really am a fan of also them telling you what waves are going to be in each checkpoint. So I don't have to be on stream going, uh, 64, 65, 66. I like it. It's just going to tell me outright. So this I'm not a, totally on board with. We'll have to see where this goes in, in like in the game. Like once this is implemented and we can check it out, I will have a better opinion on it, but I'm a little skeptical on this change. It makes sense on paper but i'm just gonna have to see how it performs so that's all i got for you guys today thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one Bye bye